John. I'm here, here with my friend Dirk. We're with Retro Dirk. Arcade Gaming. Retro. <laughs> Retro! Yeah. And we are playing Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Cadillacs I, and I just, Dinos. I hear good things about this game, but I never saw it actually in the arcade. I never played it in the arcade. I mixed two. And, uh, what? I didn't see this either. Yeah, but, you know, uh, it was mentioned a lot. It was, uh, actually, they think it was as, they maybe say it was as good as Final Fight. I don't know, but we're going to yeah. give it a shot. Try yeah. it out. Yeah, presentation wise, it looks like it has some good promise. Um, yeah. Curious to see the link between Cadillacs and dinosaurs and how it all comes together. Yeah, I'm curious about that too. Let's, uh, sounds like the two couldn't be further apart, but. Yeah, it's Capcom, so. Oh, it's, it's based upon the comic. Okay. Is it? Oh, Which yeah. I never read. So yeah, me neither. By Mark Schultz. And, and, all right. All right. And um, it's, it's made by Capcom, so uh, brace yourself with some cheesy dialogue and storytelling. Oh, uh, dear. Here we go. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's get this. Hmm. I think I'll be Mustafa. Uh, good power, good speed. He's all right, balanced. <laughs> let's do it. <coughs> Figure this thing out. East Coast. East Coast. 25, 25 oh, 500 oh. years in the future, huh? Yep, Almost the future. 500 years. My men will teach you a lesson. Oh, lesson. shit. <laughs> like hell they will. Yeah, and all away right. we go. On the top of the building. Yeah. It's made by Capcom, so quality could be there. Well, so far, <coughs> it does have remnants of Final Fight, and. Mm. Oh, there's. Boom. Oh, oh there, there, that guy just exploded. How do, is there a way to walk fast? No, it's just. I, I, I did a little sprint, but I just forgot how to do it. Maybe it's forward. I twice. just threw some dynamite at somebody, and they went kablooey. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so. Oh, I guess you have a special attack too if you hit both buttons. Oh, yeah. Punch and kick. Oh, yeah. But oh, whenever, oh, you, yeah, go, whenever you use it, you. Um, lose life. Use life. Oh, I wonder where they got that idea. Yeah, I wonder, <laughs> I wonder where they got that idea. Oh, they got guns? Oh, wow, shit. this is a brutal game. Finally. I got a shotgun. Oh, yeah, alright. Alright. Wow, yeah, this is. <laughs> this is a brutality to this game that I'm was not quite ready for it. Yeah, the guns. That, that's a first, I must say. I, I don't really see, see like the protagonist ever holding a gun and I know, usually these games are just fists. Maybe yeah. a knife or two, but... Projectile weapons? Oh, jumped out the... Oh! 47th Street. I know. <laughs> oh, we can hit each other. Oh, okay. Hit, ah! Yeah. Well, you gotta be careful. I can imagine. Imagine if you have a gun, you can shoot each other. Oh, yeah. Oh man, yeah, that's pretty rough. All right, yeah, I'm starting to like it so far. I mean, oh, uh, see, I have a grenade. Check okay. this out. I have oh, a grenade. Oh, go ahead. Oh, and there's, oh, a, a there's a timer. Oh shit. So I have to throw it before a certain amount of time. All right, go for it before this guy stabs you. Oh, <laughs> boom. What? How oh. are you going to still be hey. alive? It's a. I guess it's a uh -oh. flammable grenade. Yeah, it must. Be. Still, <laughs> you should have at least <laughs> third degree burns. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, keep get away from that dinosaur. Lose, get lost or lose teeth. Oh, are we are we are we rescuing dinosaurs? Oh shit! Uh, it looks like it. Oh, fuck that! Gotta beat this guy up. Beat up that dinosaur. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? So you can't actually hit hurt the dino. Oh. I remember something like this in Streets of Rage oh, Three, shit. It's like where the, you had to. Um, the dinosaur ate me. I mean, do me. Uh, yeah, the dinosaur can, will attack you. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought we were like on the. Well, if we if we. Oh wait! Oh, oh wait, the wait, dinosaur wait. just attacked the. Oh wait just a minute! Just attacked the guy. Oh, oh, color. oh! Because I, I attacked it, yeah. and then like it went. Oh, I see. So we're rescuing it. I well, can't. I we it can't hit it. Well, yeah, it's gone now. All right. We could have had a partner. Oh fuck! Yeah, I guess you're not supposed to attack the dinosaurs. All right. Not so much of that. The dinosaur ran off. Like, what? You hit me! I'm not hanging around here right. anymore. <coughs> can you put more coins in? Oh yeah, you can put. No, no, I mean like try it and uh, you know, my thing is messed up. Oh, it worked for you? Yeah. Oh. But oh. you were able to use coins. N not really. Oh. All right. There you go. Yeah, here we go. Guess I'll pick another character. Fully explore the game. Oh, oh I got a fucking bazooka. Oh, he's bazooka? got a bazooka. Need a hand. Uh, oh, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. Man. Good. I, I like that. Yeah, alright. I can oh. use many hands. 
All right, cool. Wow, I like I like the accessories. Yeah, I think I figured out how to <laughs> run. Bam! There you go. It's, it's like t forward twice. Mhm. Mm to dash, right? Yeah, to dash. Oh, Capcom. What well, Final Fight made Capcom, right? Yep. Yeah, kids playing the white T-shirt and blue jeans. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so far, pretty interesting. All right. I'm not sure where they stand in so far as. Well, we're gonna figure it out now. Butcher. Oh, we gotta fight a butcher. That means there will be a cleaver involved. Yeah. More than likely. Oh, yeah. Could be. And we, you know, we drove here in our Cadillac, so that's yeah. a Cadillac. Nice. Why'd it have to be a Cadillac? That's future. Why couldn't it be a Mercedes? <laughs> I, I think I, I read something in the beginning that it was a, they made it maybe, it was a trademark, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm making it up. Oh, so I have to. I have to sh I don't know what's going on with these dinosaurs, tell you the truth. There you go. There you go. So what are these dinosaurs here for? Are they just here for decoration? I mean, can we use them as... I don't know, wake them up. I'm worried! <laughs> yeah, he's a little big. I, I'll just leave him there. <laughs> oh, shit, here we go. I think we gotta avoid them when they're, like, orange. Oh. oh okay, so they just become, like, a random event. Yeah. That happens on screen. I guess we're in the future and uh Yep. Where dinosaurs exist. Dinosaur, in the future. Yeah, it came back. It was this before or after Jurassic Park, I wonder. Oh, good. Yeah, we should have I think this is before Jurassic Park. Which means Michael Crichton is a thief! No. He's totally original. <laughs> you know he died. I didn't even know he died. He died a while ago. Yeah, a while ago, yeah. Why do we, why is there do you have a grenade or something? No. No, I saw a timer kind of I got two grenades. They call my fist. Look at that. Look at my fist. I know. Your, <laughs> oh, your fists are grenades. No, they're dropping bombs. Oh. I could have sworn I remember that guy from Final Fight. They have the knife. No, right uh, these guys look pretty. They're pretty original. You think yeah, so? Yeah, they look original. To me. Original sprites. They didn't recycle them. No, no recycling so far. No. Get off me! Right. So Yo, far it's moving along, moving along. I like the presentation of the game. Yeah. It, it it's it has that Capcom refinement. Like it's really refined. Yeah. Well, well, specifically, what do you mean by Capcom I mean, it, refinement? What do you mean? Well, you remember how the Capcom boxes used to say state of the art resolution yeah. and graphics, and this feels like it. I mean, it really feels state of the art. Oh, I mean for the time, yeah. For the time. Yeah. Oh, what oh, the fuck? Wow. That, wow. Yeah, that, that guy does not like Stegosaurus, apparently. No, that, that was pretty graphic. <laughs> was pretty yeah, and it was a pretty graphic game. Yeah. Ooh, I'll take that. He was just going to town with that fucking time. Get, get, man. Get, like, damn. Get a sword, get a sword. Get a oh, sword. I was gonna... I got a gun, man! <laughs> oh, now I don't got a gun. Oh. Look at these bad guys. They don't see that. They don't see that sword coming. <laughs> you know what I'm talking? Such a slow swing. Uh, oh fuck! You know you love it when you when you take away an enemy's weapon. They like get like super hype, and then all of a sudden they get like I know, <laughs> extra strong because they must get their weapon back. That fist, man. <laughs> fuck. Uh oh. Oh shit! You died. They're gonna pay for this. Oh, oh. you got a bazooka. I like how they give you like an awesome weapon to like no. come back into the fray. Like awesome oh. weapon time. All right. Compared to Final Fight, I still prefer Final Fight for some reason. I, don't know. I mean, I think Final Fight is just a little bit more. I mean, this is based on the comic property, so I think it kind of helps to like know the. Oh property. yeah, be in it, so like we we have more of a reference. Yeah, it's kind of like if you play Ninja. Well, I think anyone can play Ninja Turtles, but it just makes it a lot more accessible when you know. That's true. True enough. It's like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Remember we played that oh, arcade yeah. game, and that game was fucking awesome. And it just made you. I just, you know, I wish I read the anime for that. I mean, I think it's on now. Or something. You can just watch it. That game is amazing. If anybody. Oh yeah, JoJo's Bizarre. It, it is quite the bizarre adventure. <laughs> yeah, and it's amazing. It's an amazing game. If anybody wants to check it out. So, I mean, so far it's following the the usual beat 'em up formula. 
Uh, a lot of enemies on screen. Yeah, Although kick. the use of weapons like the projectiles is definitely uh, gives it a different flavor. Yeah. It makes it a bit more. I don't know. Some people might say it's a bit. It, it's probably it'd be cheaper because it's like. You know, projectile weapons obviously have more <laughs> damage. Yeah, of course. Than blade weapons or any <laughs> other kind of weapon. But it seems it seems like they're getting up after gunshot, so it's fair. <laughs> it's like, a, bam! Oh, he was a boss. We got wow. Yep, that was the butcher. It was like Dungeons and Dragons all over again. I don't know what the boss is coming in. Was it was it Dungeons and Dragons? I forgot. Yeah. yeah. And the boss is just kind of like there. You didn't know they were there. there. No, 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 no. It was a Arabian fight. Oh, Arabian fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which we gotta replay in the future. So moving on. Moving on. Hey man. That's it. Go ahead. You can do. You can oh. yeah, we're going to a garage apparently. Oh, now we're on Hell Road. Oh, what is this? Mad Max. Desert. Now we're going into Mad Max. You know what? You ever watch that Fist of the North Star, right? And you ever watch Mad Max? Yeah, it's, there are a lot of similarities. Yeah, I mean, like, wow. I mean, like, yeah, talk sure. about a direct ripoff. I would, dare, I would dare say that Fist of the North Star borrowed... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. It would take the car, I'd be safe. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, that's different. Okay, we're taking the car, Who's apparently. <laughs> Run over, folks. Oh, yeah, fuck that. Oh, nice. Oh, oh interesting. Some time. That's an interesting gameplay yeah, mechanic. Right. Save some time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Run over people. <laughs> yep. Out of the way, guys. Eat your heart out, NYPD. <laughs> we can be as reckless with Bam. our car as we can. <laughs> I like these Cadillacs. Yeah. Oh, hog. Are, are, uh, are you supposed to be doing something? Can you do something? I don't know. What can I do? I don't know. I'm just driving this thing. and uh, I can't control it. I think you're controlling it. Yeah, I am controlling it. Just trying to hit these buttons. I'm trying to hit this fucker. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Try that again! Oh fuck! I tried it. Oh man! Yeah, caught him. <laughs> wow, that was pretty r ruthless. <laughs> He's gonna pass out tunnel of love. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm good. Yeah, that's something you would say. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> that is something you would definitely say. I gotta. I'm now. I'm just. This is. It does a good job of selling the comic because it's com kind of interesting. It is selling now. it. It's selling it pretty well. <laughs> Jack, look. Our garage. Someone is going to oh, pay. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Jack's garage. Jack's garage. All right. That's, uh, what kind of garage is Jack uh, running? I don't know. Nice place. Now it is mine. Oh shit! He just took his garage. Fuck Apparently, that. he took over the garage. Hey, Come on, okay. Jack. We gotta get we your gotta, garage gotta, back. Your garage <laughs> by this huge, huge gang. <laughs> oh, I got a fucking shotgun. Bam. Oh. <laughs> Bam. Why is that countdown coming from? I oh, guess my shotgun use. There it goes. I, oh, I, th I thought it had something to do with some um... grenade. Do with, um, oh, these, the, I was surprised these guys didn't make it to like any of those Marvel vs. Capcom games, or you know, any one of those games. Well, Marvel, uh, Capcom vs. SNK, Capcom vs. I don't know, uh, Capcom vs. anybody. <laughs> good point. <laughs> um, I don't know, but since this is a property that they kind of like developed oh, before, yeah, maybe true. they didn't have the rights. I do think this game is kind of easy in terms of defeating the enemies. Yeah. Like, I've only died, like, what, twice? Did you? Yeah, just twice. Oh, wow. No wonder it's probably popular in the arcade. <laughs> I was like, uh, I get more for your buck. More bang for your buck. Come on, Jack. Look at all these cars you have, Jack. I know. I have a big garage. You have a huge that's not garage. Even a gar that's a warehouse, man. <laughs> that's I, not I, even a garage. Yeah, 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 when I hear garage, I think... <laughs> I'm thinking something small and, you know... Yeah, exactly. Something in a desert. Or yeah, something, economical. You know. This is yeah, like an like industry. A, this is a... <laughs> a warehouse full of, like, antique cars. And yeah, stuff. Jack, what are you doing? Are you selling folks oh, cars yeah. and oh. rehaul it, overhauling them back here? I guess. <laughs> I don't 
Oh, I, I fucking died. What's gonna happen, Jack? We're gonna uh, find that yeah. you're really the... I'm, like oh. a, I'm really the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, you're probably the bad guy. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to lure you here because I wanted your Cadillac. Like, wow! I've, been had, I've had my eyes on that Cadillac <laughs> since the beginning of the game. Like... Uh, the, the bad guys are really the good guys, they're trying to get back their, <laughs> their cars. So, I'm, I'm, I kind of really do my research on this. I, is this oh, a, you saw that? No. Oh, you keep missing. Every time you throw the stick of dynamite and somebody walks into it, they explode. Oh, they, <laughs> It's pretty brutal. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at the style of drawing of these characters. No, but they it, look it, American it, style. So yeah, I it's wonder if it's American bar American comic that they borrowed from. Or? It must be American. Cadillacs and dinosaurs sounds like an American. You know, there's some fanboys boys that just gonna go crazy here in this, and like, like we're not even doing <laughs> the comic book any justice. Uh, we didn't play. We didn't read the comic. I know I didn't. No, it's too busy reading like X Men. Why am I using the rifle as a club? Because maybe out of bullets. Oh. All right. All right. Go, go, go. Oh man, you f you fast forward to the cheesy dialogue. I did. No, he said he wants. To he wants. Oh. He wants to put an end to our garage. Oh. <laughs> okay. I guess because our garage is really, really cramping huge. in on his business. And what is happening in the background <laughs> with this I guy's garage? Because, you know? I guess because you know what he he apparently he has boomerangs. He has a whole stack of boomerangs. He must he must run a boomerang shop. And because people prefer to buy cars instead of boomerangs, he needs you know he needs to address that. What that competitive marketplace? <laughs> what are you talking? I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about, I'm man? Just, I'm just guessing. <laughs> yes, I need a hand. I don't know what that fluid is in back. It's like excess oil. <laughs> it's like he put a refinery in the garage. No, he's she's trying to manufacture boomerangs. It must be from. The land down under. No, I'm not talking about the bad guy. This garage belongs to, you know, one of our characters. What's his name? I know. Eric? Oh, what's he, what's with all... Jim or whatever. Jack. Jack, Jack, yeah. <laughs> one of those, one of those names. Oh, the enemies have a lot of variety, but right now everything just feels very abstract and disjointed in terms of who we're fighting, but I'm pretty sure if you follow the comic... Oh, yeah, it, it probably, probably like, makes a lot of yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. What's that timer okay. coming Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the point of the timer is too, because it keeps coming up. Why do every time do I hit oh, that man, guy? Oh man, this is the board, yeah, it's like the quarter munching board right here. You know what I think of every time I see this character? Well, Airman. 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 Oh, Airman. Airman. Oh, that's right. Airman. That's from, because of those spinning, from Mega Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those spinning Oh, same rates. company too. <laughs> same company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number one, baby. Number one, baby. Oh, she, Damn right. she winked at you. Even the like the way they drew the character faces, it has a very American, yeah, I'll see American it. touch. Yeah. Okay, so Jack's garage is safe. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got it. Okay. All right. Back to the dinosaurs. Hannah. Let's go. Okay, I guess I could have rescued her Village dad. Of, Village of Flame. All right. Oh, what are they doing? They're cooking dinosaur. They're cooking a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Let's rescue this dinosaur. Oh, no, no I thought... No. <laughs> this is the flame thing. Oh, don't hit that dinosaur. So what? Uh, the, the, no, human? No, the, 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 oh, no, it's gonna go against though. It's gonna, go, it's gonna hit you. If they're green, they're friendly. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. I thought you were a bad guy for a second. I was trying to attack you. Oh shit, I, I think I... Uh, oh, well. <laughs> that just had a name, R. Hopper? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, did I do that? Yes, you did! I, I fucked up. Yes, you did. Big T-Rex. Yes, you did. And you Fuck. bringing them over to me? Fuck, I man. did nothing to you! <laughs> well, Shavat. Sorry, Shavat. You gotta go down, Shavat. 
Hey, we gotta attack these dinosaurs, turn them, gotta get them tame again. Alright. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> so fuck. Barrows to break. Ooh, bazooka. Right. And rocks, falling rocks. You know, falling rocks means it's time for some quarter munching. No, nah, that last boss is a quarter munching because there's basically no escape to those. Uh, I mean, probably there is, but you know, we're just doing a bad job of it. <laughs> Stop Blanca. <laughs> Stop Blanca. Wonder where they got the idea of Blanca. <laughs> 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 oh god! Yeah. Oh god! Yeah. Come on, guys! Like, come on! Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I guess Blanca had to make some money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a side gig. <laughs> so what, man? I need the money. I'm a I'm a celebrity now. <laughs> a ce oh, bye bye. Bye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was Good cute. Lives. That was pretty funny. Did the, this came out after Street Fighter, right? I think so. Yeah. Mustafa. They're gonna pay for this. I didn't play with Mustafa yet, so it's not bad. bad. I keep thinking you're a bad guy. You look too much like, you know, the enemy or something. So, yeah, I feel like the difficulty of this game is fairly easy. It's pretty easy. Yeah, it doesn't. I think I wasted like 75 cents now, like uh, three uh, three quarters. Yeah. Gotta run this by the, uh, that coin, uh, oh man. But I, now, the interesting thing is, I ran uh, to the dynamite in that. Who? What? No, you know, my other series, costly playthroughs, uh, play through a series of games, and have that coin meter and see how much it costs. Oh, okay, okay. Bam. Oh! Oh, something's on fire. I don't know, do you think beat em up games get repetitive? Not repetitive, <laughs> get I just feel like they should just use weapons that involve like fisticuffs. I feel like when you add like when you add projectiles it gets a little bit I don't know. Because I mean projectile weapons are kinda like this is a post-apocalyptic future. Right? I know. I, mean, I, no I, I don't know about the <laughs> I don't know about the juxtaposition though. I feel like it's a bit. It <laughs> adds variety. Don't get me wrong. It definitely adds variety. But um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just. Oh, that. <laughs> You're like no guns. <laughs> hey, the liberals would love me, right? Yeah, yeah I guess. No, no guns. Oh, I don't. I don't we're gonna get political. On. <laughs> This 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 game obviously does not believe in gun control. Thank you. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, that guy with always oh, was a big mouth. Oh shit! Just shot this girl's. Is this that girl's father? It's like a mastermind. Oh, uh, mastermind. You gonna let this little geek hit you? He got a fucking machine gun. <laughs> See, exactly. This is what I was talking about. Gun yeah, but, control. But what about Streets of Rage, man? When There's no fucking, guns. Like, the last boss got a fucking... Yeah, the last boss. Because he's the last... Automatic, He's the man. last boss. <laughs> There's a difference. And, and what about that guy from Double Dragon? <laughs> it's like the last boss. Got a fucking gun, man. <laughs> oh, hey, Rock said he had a gun. Yeah, rock steady, man. We got gun, man. We got even the playing field. I think. Thank, thank you, Capcom, for doing us a favor. Oh, beat the boss, right? Bam. Yeah, he bounces high. I'm really gonna get bent out of shape. Yeah. <laughs> His head is bent out of shape. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, what the oh. fuck? What? Oh, there's more! Fuck! It's like it just a cheap shot, me, man. I, I wasn't expecting it. He's. Uh, his name is Morg. Morg? <laughs> get him. <laughs> Uzi. All right. I see a right a lot. That's it. So he mutated into a dinosaur. A dinosaur. 
And now, I don't know what that kind of dinosaur is. I'm not a dinosaur expert, but... Neither am I. <laughs> so, so obviously the one that had like a bony plate for a head. Yeah, it's like which a... Which meant it could use it as a weapon, as a battering ram. That's a that guy's smoking, you see that crap? <laughs> <laughs> so cool. cool. So he was cool. actually having a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> During the fight. <laughs> during yeah, I know. Like, during the fight. Like, cigarette break. Like, like, <laughs> take five, boys. <laughs> oh, man. This fucking dinosaur. It's a name. Fucking Dome Pedosaurus. Thank you. It's funny. You hear these dinosaur um, sound effects? It sounds like they were taken from Godzilla. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Oh, here we go. I think Toho Limited uh, would be interested in this. I, I like I like when they beat up the main boss and everybody else dies. Yep, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm a bad, bad mama, mama jamma. <laughs> hey, I won. Yeah, you won that round. Yeah. It's about time you won something. Oh. <laughs> I won everything, man. <laughs> Just because you beat me in one game. Ever. Ever. <laughs> Doesn't make you an expert. <laughs> uh. Oh, you're getting a little quiet. You just fix your seat. I know, now I know you're like concentrating on that fucking score. <laughs> now, I'm gonna, <laughs> now I'm gonna fucking play serious. <laughs> Whatever. I know you. I know your fucking game. <laughs> Fuck that, man. <laughs> My finger's going on fucking turbo charge now. <laughs> <laughs> now you're gonna just hog everything. Well, hell yeah! I'm not like, giving you a chance to fucking start talking shit, man. <laughs> that was an accident, by the way. Oh, that sure that was that, an accident. That, that was an accident. <laughs> that, was a, that was a legitimate accident. <laughs> Cheated just like an NES, man. <laughs> NES. Bam. Let's try Hannah. Oh, how did you get? Did you did you gain the lead on me? How how did you do that? Because I'm the man. No nah, man, so you, I don't know how that <laughs> happens, man. Like because I fuck uh, man. <laughs> that, that's bullshit, man. I was clearly in the lead, like by ten thousand points. Oh, will you stop? No, what? man. Stop whining. Fuck. Fuck, fuck you, man. <laughs> you. Like, there's something wrong with this, man. Something's going down. I don't know, man. There's nothing here. Here, golly. Yeah, let me take it. Let's take it already. Right. You started this competitive. This <laughs> yeah. I have to take it back. Is it like when you start again, they give you like 5,000 points or something? Or I don't or? think so, no. The score is close, man. Too close. Too close. It's supposed to be the lead. I'll do it for you. Dark and stormy night. Ah, you missed. Oh, fuck. Could be the same. <laughs> ah, you missed. <laughs> That is a leg. Fuck. Yep, that is a leg. <laughs> if I ever did see one. Yeah. Oh, I can. I didn't even know. You. I was looking at people's high scores and everything, and uh, mm -hmm. some people got some really high scores. And, like, it's just, I don't know how they like do it. Or something. Like 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 a mil like uh, in Strider, somebody scored like three million points or something. I don't know that how that's possible. Yeah. And it's in Twin Galaxy, so it must be legitimate that they had to do it right there. Guess it's the time. Hey, some people just have some amazing reflexes like that. Yeah, some people. You know, you're right. It's yeah. kind of like folks in Pac-Man. They just they can play Pac-Man until like the final. Oh, Blanca's oh, oh, back. Oh, Blanca, Blanca, blood. <laughs> We must be in Brazil. What? <laughs> That's the only place he shows up. I know. It's true. 
These are so we shouldn't start calling them Blanc. We should call these are Blancas. Bl the Blancas, yeah. I mean, the, the, see, even the, the, I saw them one of their names, Bludge. So um, all their names start with B L. Yeah, that's <laughs> all that's right. He could be like Blanca could be like one of those rogue Bludges. Yeah. <laughs> lost his no, mother. No, he's a top. He's one of the talented ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He so, got recruited for Street Fighter. Yeah, the King Bloods. And all the others are like jealous of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should have like a, a, a fucking crowd of bludges like cheering him on. Like, yeah. Yeah. Remember, remember where you came oh, from? Oh, okay. Shit. That's very alien -esque. Wow. So wait a minute. What year did this game come out? It came out did it come out before Street Fighter 2? I think it did. Oh. We we gotta do a basic research on these games. <laughs> it would be nice. <laughs> we got we, we just play these games out of random and yeah, <laughs> we pick them. Like, like, which play, one is this today? Let's play this. Let's play this. We do no. Well, maybe we should start incorporating just a little soft research. Yeah, soft research. So we're not totally <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> like, like, uh, like a, uh, yeah, fucking using our questionable. Questionable facts to inform the <laughs> the masses. So. They eat my bazooka. The enemies are pretty varied so far. Yeah. I mean, aside from Blanca being like, recycled, like I don't know what I'm getting. But he's not really being recycled because he does have a tail, and the other Blanca didn't have a tail. Oh. What, Blanca from Street Fighter don't have a tail? Yeah, he didn't have a tail. Yeah. No, he could have cut it off. Oh, shit. Oh, and it goes to a different... Oh, that is so cool. You saw that? Yeah, yeah. It's so it's like, like some kind of alien, alien parasite. Man, yeah. So that means we got to kill the parasite. Otherwise, it'll keep going to different enemies. I mean, does it, though? I mean, maybe maybe it's just part of, like, the, the, the game. You think it's just part yeah. of, like... It's just like, oh, it's going to go to, like, three different enemies and then it'll die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. I hope. You hope. <laughs> now, if it doesn't, <laughs> that's a quarter muncher right there. Yeah, it's a quarter muncher. Fuck, man. <laughs> Turok. Fuck see him coming no, no relation to Turok. <laughs> Tur is it Turok? It's Turok. Tur Tyrog. Oh, Tyrog. It's a Tyrog. Yeah! Alright, kill this. Kill this thing before he goes on. I got my knife ready. Go get him! Fuck. Oh! See, fuck! I told you, I told you, see? Fuck! You gotta Are kill you it! Are you kidding me? Yeah, I told you, I had a feeling! Oh, man. I had a feeling! It's just gonna keep going from enemy to enemy. That's pretty cool. That's interesting from a strategic point of view that you have to like. Well, we're just assuming. I don't know. We, we, we still like. It's still not proven yet. Well, if it goes to a fourth enemy, then you <laughs> know. Daddy will know for sure. Oh, yeah. So he's he's he's, he's dead? Question mark. Let's get around him. Okay. It was just three. Oh, okay. Number one, Number baby. Number one, baby. Look at the steroids I'm using. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at the <his> chest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have aliens. Okay. Safe ground. Oh, come on. They're not engineering all this from dinosaurs. Give me a break. What are they trying to say? Dinosaurs are really alien species or something. Uh, yeah. Wait, didn't we start here? Yeah. What was yeah. this like a pro So what was this? The first. Now I'm confused. Wait a minute. Was the beginning like a prologue or something? Yep. <laughs> and we were leading up to this. It's kind of like you know how you start from the end, yeah, yeah, but yeah. then they make you play the beginning again. I don't know. Because this is the exact same scene we were in. Tell you the truth, I'm kind of lost in the story. <laughs> I don't know. This is the exact same scene. Well, not the bridge, but the background. The background, at least. yeah. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> yeah. Oh, that's pretty brutal. Let's save this. Suck. Bit. But you, 
pal. Black Elmer. <laughs> what a name. Look out. Damn. Boom. I walked right into it. You know what they should have done? Like, mm. um, you know why I'm such a big fan of the old, like, Capcom vs. Marvel 2? Because, um, and I prefer that one over, like, the the newer Capcom vs. Marvels, even though they're amazing. Because the original, the, the Marvel vs. Capcom 2, the original one was drawn by Jim Lee, right? Yeah. So... Oh, it was, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and so it's amazing to look at, because it, do, it does have that comic book quality, right? So, if this is based on a comic, I wish, like, manga artists just, you know, did the, uh... You know, did the design of the characters would have been amazing. I mean, visually. Oh, you mean as far as that those certain fighting games? Yeah, like like this is based on a, ba you know, based on a comic, right? Yeah. But what if you had the original comic artist doing the character design? Mm. Anyway, I think it would look amazing. Well, maybe they did. I don't know. Eh. But that's why I like the whole versus uh, Mar Marvel versus Capcom because. You know, it, to me, it has that timeless quality because of it, because it's drawn right. by Jim Lee. Right, you know? right. He did all the sprites. Yeah. Oh, wait, he drew it and they converted it yeah, into yeah, sprites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it could be something similar to what they did here. They just took the original artwork and they just converted it. Could be. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? But I would like to see, like, the art, uh, if it's based on a comic than the comic artist. Like, if they're going to make a Dragon Ball game, Akira Toriyama drew the whole thing, you know? All the sprites and all that stuff. Even though I, I feel like anybody can draw Dragon Ball. <laughs> 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 Dragon Ball is like the easiest to draw. <laughs> I feel like, um... I'm just... So, when you say he designed the characters, he actually drew the... The, sp the sprite. I, that's he, what he I drew think. the artwork that the sprites yeah. were made from. I, I, well, I, that's what I hear. I'm assuming. Maybe I could. Maybe I'm wrong on this. I and that's that's so order. that includes all the characters, like Mega Man or something. Or was it no, just? No, no, the, no, it no, was I'm just sorry. the Marvel characters. Mar didn't Marvel, right? Mar Marvel characters. Okay, so those are characters that he had already designed before. All right. Was it? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm mixing it up. Maybe it's Marvel superheroes that I'm thinking about. Or something. Mm. Well, I gotta go check. Don't quote me on that. I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything. Just yeah, here. So we just took an elevator down into some kind of creepy basement. We have to have a fact check in the background. Just like get one of my get one of my teenage cousins and like look let's just fact check everything we talk about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just got hit against an invisible wall. I know. You know, air is deadly. <laughs> Took care of that guy? Yes I did. All these books. Oh. <coughs> It looks like it, it, so this is, I'm getting a, this is, you said it was post-apocalyptic, that explains the guys who look like they're in, like, um... Yeah, that, those, uh, those, you know, um, what are they called? Uh, ponchos? I forgot what they're called. Ponchos, yeah, exactly. Is it ponchos? Yeah, yeah, it's poncho. Yeah, okay. Poncho slash duster kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it did say in the beginning, 2,500 and something, something, you're in the future, and things don't look clean. Nope. <laughs> they don't, even, got, they like, don't even put their books back when yeah, they're done reading I know, them. right? Oh, it's so horrible. <laughs> and it's, uh, everybody looks like they came out of Mad Max film, so post-apocalyptic, mm. I, I, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. well, oh, more, here we go. More Blancas, more, more the, Bludges. Bludges. See, they all have the tails. Blanca reject crowd. Yep. Bludge, bludge, oh. <laughs> it's too bad none of them would like have electricity. I uh, know, right? That's what, I was just thinking of that. Like, what if one of them just gets... Maybe that's players. why Blanca <laughs> was recruited to Street Fighter, because he could actually do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All these guys can do is just swipe and jump and hop around. <laughs> Blanca had talent. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, he was the one chosen. He was the one <laughs> chosen. <laughs> Everyone else.
everyone else was just, well, you, we can find you a spot. We'll find you a spot in this game. You can just, <laughs> you can just be one of the <coughs> mutant-like dinosaur creatures. <laughs> You're special. You're special. <laughs> I don't think they've appeared in any. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love these guys. Bam! I'm just you got to sit there and watch watch me hit you. <laughs> look at look at oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh he, he, he caught no, they caught on, fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Have I you mean, tried your special attack? I mean, you my super swinging fist. I like how everybody looks like all the main characters look like they just came out of a gas station, like gas station <laughs> employees or something. Ooh, oh, what the what fuck? The fuck oh, Steedle's uh, booming, guys. It's three? Yeah, it's a you fool, they're trying to stop the creator. Huh, okay. It's an evil mad scientist. Okay. Slicers? Go ahead, Slicers. Slice. Oh, they're a dinosaur of that guy. The boomerang guy. <laughs> there's three of them. I'm pretty sure that's Dr. Wiley's brother. <laughs> no, there's a difference. Dr. Wiley got a mustache. What? Oh, I, I didn't even know I fucking died. I just got into the wall. It's fucking... Wow, yeah, this just got intense. Why is everyone acting like they're Relento? I'm so pissed at that. I'm telling you, man. They're gonna start throwing their boomerangs. It's all hell to play this. Can't get rid of them quick. Oh, fuck. Oh, here we go, airman out. time. It's a brawl. Uh, fuck. Bitch. Oh, boy. Time for me to be Hannah. How many three player games do you recall being in the arcades? I know four and two, but three was a pretty rare thing. Yeah, you know what? I think I one time saw it. No, I'm lying. You know what? I never saw three. I don't even remember three. I don't. It was either a two or four. Yeah. I never even seen a six player one, and I know the six player ones. What was it? Wasn't um, X Men a six player one? Was it? I thought it was six player. Because I had that extra long um, screen. It was like, it was almost like widescreen. Yeah, I would love to play with six players. You know? If I remember. I remember the screen was much larger than usual. Oh boy. That was a. That was, that was pretty intense. Pretty uh, sci fi. Alright. I don't care, it's Dr. Wiley's brother. <laughs> they keep it all in house. Probably. <laughs> oh, here we go. The underworld. There's Blanca. Oh, so Bludge. he's a hybrid of a dinosaur and a human, I see. Yeah, he was number. Oh! Oh, fuck. I wasn't expecting that. All they can do is throw out sludge. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn. It wasn't even close. I gotta get away from these people. I got more to offer. Uh, 
Oh, that's funny. We're going. Do you see? You, do you see the Mega Man influence here? No. The capsules. Oh, that's right. You are, you are just <laughs> connecting the dots, man. I tell ya, I'm half expecting. <laughs> and Bison to be the boss. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> Save me. Need a hand. Need a hand. Into the great we go. All right. This is an easy game. I mean, it's it's I, not it's not hard. Uh -huh. It's not like, oh, we're just getting plastered and, I mean, we're just getting completely annihilated no. quarter after quarter. I mean, I think it'll be harder if it's one player. Underwater base, come on. Come on, walk into the fire for me. Not Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, Good come idea. Why am I staying in the water? Just walk into the fire for me. Right. Thank you. You guys are awesome. <laughs> oh, fuck. I wonder where that timer comes in. Maybe that's the amount of time we have to defeat everyone? That could be. That's right. The dungeon. Oh. Huh? <laughs> this is a baseball mitt. I just jumped to the third fucking fire. You know, I feel like this game is fan service. For f definitely for people who read the comic. Kind of like how Ninja Turtles is fan service for people who play Ninja who were into But I feel like this is a little bit more slower paced though. Ninja Turtles feels like, I don't know. A bit more yeah, engaging. Engaging. Yeah. Well, maybe if I was a catalyst and dinosaur, I'd be more engaged. Oh, yeah, good luck. Oh, fuck. Oh, I died from a fucking barrel. Yep. It only took a barrel to do you. Oh, oh. that's it. So what is the secret we're about to uncover? They're making metaphysical dino humans. Oh, looks that. Looks, looks that way. Oh, bitch. Keep an eye out. I think I, you know what I'm starting to wonder? What? One of those big sumo guys might be E Honda. Oh, I know. <laughs> be awesome if he, if he makes a cameo here, too. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all see where he fits in, though. We gotta look for other influences. Mm -hmm. Those um, uh, sound effect bubbles, the sound effects, 
Smack, pop. Whap. Yeah, I just noticed that. So that it's comic -y. Yeah. I think they should have more of them. I think they should do it, so just go with it. We're getting to the end. Uh, oh, I guess it. I've been expecting you. You are just about time to start a new life. Him again! I know, man. Come on, dude. You used the same dinosaur already. <laughs> At least he's a stegosaurus. I know. Oh, fuck. Of all the dinosaurs they have to choose, they keep choosing... You could have been an Allosaurus, you could have been a T-Rex, you could have been a... I don't know, any, any you could have been a Raptor! I tell you, you're the stupid butting heads one. No. That's <laughs> it. I still don't quite understand what this has to do with Jack in his garage. No, we passed Jack in the garage. The I I know, but like they what? just decided to jack his garage because you know. But why? He, he just looks like he just likes to like fine tune old cars and sell Cadillacs and drive in his Cadillac. Maybe the the gang is trying to uh, you know. Hijack his enterprise. I don't know. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't do he better not respawn. Oh, uh, God, now there's a oh, serum. Oh, of course, know. there's a serum. Oh, What's it gonna oh, turn shit. into? Oh, there you go. He's gonna turn into an alien. Two headed. This All the strength in the mighty dinosaur, my extreme intelligence in one body. If you say so. The world is mine. <laughs> oh, fuck. I died. Yeah. Oh. oh, shit, I shot you. That's oh. okay. <laughs> you gotta step aside, man. You gotta bazooka. Oh, you gonna do a little slide? Yeah, that's right. This is very Ridley Scott's aliens. No, it's, it's more than that. It's an alien to two dinosaur heads. <laughs> oh, creepy. Cookie, rather. Fessenden, why do you want to be this? <laughs> no. You look because fine the other way. Shit, you know, he gets super intelligence by being a dinosaur. <laughs> Why do you need two heads? Oh, he's mad. He's a mad scientist. I, I see he's mad. <laughs> and that's Guile. <laughs> that's not Guile. Come on, man. That's Guile's little brother. Oh, try to sneak up on me. Ha, ah, oh, bitch. Did I get it? Yes, you did. Now watch my super duper ultimate form. <laughs> oh, what a wimp. What a wimp. Oh, God. man. <laughs> She's blinking. Like, hey. Gonna, uh, say hey. Oh, this is the ending? Looks like it. Oh, shit. No, I'm finished. Not finished mutating is such a rush. Uh -huh. All that mutations, yep. That's it. Game over. His lap is gone. Explode. Run. Gone. Gone. Hurry up. Right. It's gonna be a... Uh, oh, what Hannah. happened? Why did I fall? <laughs> I don't know. Good girl. Jack! Hannah! Hannah. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you press anything? I didn't press anything. What the fuck, man? They just, they just left us there. <laughs> Talk about Look at bastards. I guess you gotta read the comic to find out. More. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at, oh, loyalty with my boys. That's it. They just fucking broke out. Yeah. They didn't 
to yeah. scour the rubble to see if we're okay? Yeah. Let me, let me be real with you, dog. What? Like what? You think Jack and Hannah were doing it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were, yeah. I, I come in the Cadillac once. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, speaking of Cadillacs, what are we going to do if it's garage? Yeah, I guess we'll take over the business. Yeah. <laughs> That was, that, was the, that was the whole plan all along. <laughs> <laughs> Take a, oh, here they go. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, Jack, oh, hey, Jack. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Glad to see you okay. <laughs> yeah. We were <laughs> <right> there. <laughs> we were looking all over for you. <laughs> yeah, <Jack. laughs> yeah, all right. Let's go. <laughs> We're <the> fucking bastards. <laughs> Oh, oh man, this game is all right. It was for a beat 'em up. It was pretty. I think it had some pretty high production. Sorry, production values. I think it had a lot of variety. Um, the combos didn't feel very routine or monotonous. It was. It was cool to play through. I just feel like. I don't know. I would have appreciated me. I would have appreciated it more if I had more context on the actual. Um, on the actual, uh, I guess, franchise that it was based on. But I don't think you should need it. I mean, it should stand on its own. And I feel like because I mean, I'm just playing it as just totally independent. I don't know anything about Calyx and Dinosaur. And totally independent from like from the material, the original source material. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just feels like it just kind of lacks something. It just lacks that, you know, I guess, X I, factor I that totally makes it you know, addicting, I guess. I think it's fanboy service. I feel like if I was like a head who read every single issue of Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, when this came out, I would be like, oh my god, I remember this from issue X and X, X and X. You know, because I would recognize the characters. Like, especially those boss characters. I'm pretty sure there was a lot of Easter eggs in this game that people who followed the comic would have probably picked up on. But it's just casual players yourself and me playing through it while it was cool to play through, like, I feel like I would have, I didn't, there are certain things that I may have had a lot more of a appreciation for if I had that extra con. That's, that's my, I'm not saying it took away from the game. I just don't feel like I got the most that I could have gotten yeah, out of it. Yeah, I agree. It, it, I, I, I hear what you're saying, but I, I don't know. I just feel like it shouldn't be dependent on that, that, like, your your relation to the to the material and everything. I think a game should just be able to stand on its own, regardless. And it may it it, it should make you more interested in the um in the source material. And I feel like playing this, it doesn't really need the it doesn't do that for me. It doesn't well, make me interested in the source material. Right, and that yeah. probably is a fault on their part because, like I said, I feel like they were expecting that crowd who had read the comic, and yeah. so they just made it like, oh, you remember this from this um, this issue? You remember this? Yeah. The, the, all those scenarios we went through are definitely from the comic. Yeah. And that's why I feel, and that's why okay. we, we just went from one sequence scenario to the next, and we're kind of like, okay, what's going on here? Why are we going here now? Why yeah, is this yeah. happening now? But it was kind of like, oh... You know, we if you read the comic, you would understand but why. It would all it, make perfect sense at the end. Let's put so it forth. this way, right? Yeah. I don't like sports. I'm not a sports fan, right? But mm -hmm. I like NBA Jam, right? Yeah. And yeah. It, I I don't know who the players are. You know, I mean, I know I know my you know the common knowledge, but mm -hmm. I don't have to be a sports fan to appreciate the f the game. And it doesn't take away from you know it it. it I don't know who because I don't know who certain players it doesn't make me more or less interested it makes me more interested the game actually makes me more interested it makes me more interested in watching basketball mm -hmm. but that's what I'm saying you're saying like oh maybe you're missing out on some easter eggs and you're missing out on this and that but I, I'm not disputing that I'm saying it was that's one of the faults of the presentation because they true. don't really make it accessible to casual gamers to pick up on what's going on and appreciate what's going on. They make it, it's more of a fan service game. The game, NBA Jam is not a fan, I mean, it is a fan service game that people follow the NBA, but it's also a really fun game for people who just want to just pick up and play because yeah. you don't have to know the teams, you don't have to know the players, you don't really have to. You can pick anyone randomly, but the controls are still the same. That's true. So, true. True. but like... No, but they are rated. The characters are rated. No, the characters yeah. are rated, but yeah. I'm just saying, it, like you, you can if you you follow that sport, you can pick your favorite.
team you can pick your favorite um, players or if you don't you can still enjoy it you don't have to bring anything to it in order to enjoy it. I feel like with this game you had to bring some kind of familiarity with what was going down that's just my personal um, my my personal take on it. I mean, there are other games where you don't necessarily need that. Yeah, like The Simpsons. The, right? Simpsons. the Simpsons is a fun game. Yeah. And you, you, know? you may not have, you may just like have watched just one or two episodes because you can't stand watching it at eight o'clock at night when it used to come on. But you can still jump into that game and enjoy it. And there's a lot of ge- exactly there there, That's there, what I'm just there are a lot of references in that game that aren't even referencing the comic. I mean, the cartoon. In fact, they're actually created just for that game. And that's what makes it kind of fun. Because um, the artist, and this goes back to what you were saying earlier, he actually designed some of the characters for that game. Oh, yeah. Oh, see? but yes, that's Yeah, that's the, like getting back to that point. Yeah. But that's what I mean. Like, it, it would be interesting to see, like, some of the comic book artists or cartoon artists actually work on the game. And mm-hmm. it would be... It'll be I think more of an engaging experience because, especially for the fanboys, right. and it becomes more of a, what do you call that, um, what we call a more of a novelty. Yeah. That's how I see the old, the, that Capcom versus Marvel, although that, the, the one with Jim Lee was on it, that yeah. those are novelty games now because they're not just like a 3D model that somebody created and everything. Yeah. It's this guy's just hand-drawn expression. Right. And that's why I feel like, oh, these, if, if games are based on comics or cartoons that I mean some it would be so cool to see some of the original staff come in and, and create you know c- you know uh, go and create for for the uh, video game and it would be it will become a novelty and it will be it will just be that much more special I guess yeah, yeah it, be, it, it would be a love letter to the fans and also a way of just connecting and celebrating whatever the franchise, or in this case, the the characters. Yeah, man. Whoever, Simpsons game developed be. by Matt Groening. I mean, that'd be great. That'd be awesome, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> and it's funny, when we do play that game, there are a lot of, like, because I guess he, before he came out with The Simpsons, he had worked on a comic called life in hell and it still looks like this weird bunny rabbit character uh-huh. and that character is actually an enemy in the game oh yeah oh yeah, that's so, awesome so yeah. so like there but if you know about his work then you would a catch on that yeah, yeah, but yeah. b even if you don't know it's still a cool looking character it's still character. cool, yeah, it's still yeah, yeah. cool. It's, so you it's don't from the universe it's from the universe yeah. that's it it's from the universe yeah. oh awesome awesomeness yeah. all right uh thank you for joining us that was cadillacs and dinosaurs uh me my I, there's some takeaways and some, you know, we like a, we would talk about some takeaways. And yeah, some yeah, yeah. Uh, and three highs and three lows. Three highs and three lows. The three highs for me, it was, it, it looked good, right? Mm-hmm. And it it was an original. It's original concept for the time. It's an original concept. I never had played a game that's Calyx and dinosaurs. That's totally <laughs> original. Mm-hmm. Totally original. Uh, uh, I don't want to say world, but I guess scenario with the whole gas station. Yeah. Post-apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic feel. That's mm-hmm. kind of original to me. Yeah. yeah. To me, what made it what made it slow is the music wasn't anything memorable for mm-hmm. beat 'em up. Beat 'em up, you know, requires this kind of like at least something different, at least kind of high, something high paced. But yeah. it, it didn't just stand out to me. The, and I felt that uh, I just felt like the whole. It, it felt to me. It, it felt kind of repetitive after a while. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like Probably okay, midway through. Yeah, it's like there's no there's no new ways to beat these guys. I mean, yeah, I mean, Final Fight maybe was something similar, but I didn't for some reason. Mm-hmm. I guess you know the way a game is directed means everything. I I didn't get tired of Final Fight for some reason, and mm-hmm. um, I guess if I would give one more uh, a negative to it. It's, it's, I don't think that would, that would be it. I think that's just my two. That's the two I can come up with. So there's three positives, two negatives. It, I guess it's if it's three more positives, one more positive. I guess it's worth to play then. I mean, if you have, I mean, it was, mm-hmm. you know, for a short, short time just to put a few quarters in to kill time. Right. You know, just to, if you're waiting to see, at the t- I don't know, there's no more arcades or something like that. But if you were, you know, waiting online for a pizza or waited to go see the movie mm-hmm. you know maybe pump a full yeah. pump some quarters in there you, you're not gonna have a bad time you know you, yeah. you're not missing anything out from the ending mm-hmm. you know so that's my what about you uh three highs i think presentation definitely 
Capcom just has a certain quality control, kind of like Nintendo, just mm -hmm. with how they put out a product. In this case, they're publishing and uh, a property based on a on a comic, and I feel like I kept saying the I kept coming back to this term, fan service. I really feel like they craft the game to really appeal to those people who read and follow the comic. It just really yeah. felt like it felt like it was really immersive for those gamers um, those um, who, who sat down to play the game so that was a plus um, I think it's fairly easy to get into you know a lot of beat em ups yeah. are very punishing this one felt very simple straightforward it, yeah, yeah. It, I'm not saying it's gonna go as far as say it held your hand but I just didn't feel like it was brutal yeah, yeah, like yeah it didn't yeah. feel like I would be, I just run through like five dollars worth of quarters yeah yeah if yeah. I wanted to go through it from um, beginning to end. I mean, obviously, I would probably want to have at least two or three extra players. I think it has a total of three players, so having those extra two will help you get through a lot quicker, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I feel like it was very accessible in that regard. Another high, I thought the characters that you play with, they felt pretty varied. Um, sometimes characters that you control in the beat em up game, they do sometimes have a tendency to kind of overlap and be very repetitive. I felt like, and and they have personality. Like every every yeah, time you, I, yeah, you, you 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 finish the level, like oh yeah, I'm the man. Oh yo, yeah, what a wimp. So yeah, like <laughs> they inject those little touches of personality to kind of make the character stand out yeah, on yeah. their own. Really appreciate that. That's but, hard to do in an arcade game. It's it's tough to find. Yeah, that's tough. For, you know, because you only got limited time to play and to develop a uh, character development in arcade is very difficult. Oh yeah, you, you, you know? got to do it in a very okay. short span of time, and they did. They uh -huh. really. I think they did an exceptional job. As far as three lows, I think, like I said, I really feel like you ha a prerequisite for this game is you have to know the comic. Yeah. So that I really feel like it doesn't bring new casual gamers into it or gives them enough of a scaffold to really appreciate what's happening narratively in the game because they, yeah. they took the time for the cutscenes. Yeah, but it didn't feel esoteric, though. You know, mm. it didn't feel like I need to know the material. Well, you to don't need fully it. appreciate it, or well, because it's not like a something that it's a hidden language from everybody else. Well, you know? I, I, I mean, as far as just this world they're setting up, Cadillacs and dinosaurs. Why in twenty five forty one do Cadillacs? Why do dinosaurs coexist with humans? Okay, fine. I'm not saying that that's an out, outlandish idea. It's Atmosphere? fantasy. It's it, it's just it just felt like we're just dropped into this setting. And, okay, so why are we rescuing the dinosaurs? We didn't even know if we were rescuing them. We saw them being cut up and yeah, being yeah, beaten. So, so what was our relationship to the dinosaurs? Are they just there? So that wasn't f clearly explained. Yeah. And I feel like if I had been a reader of the comic, I may have understood that relationship. Yeah. Um, Jack's garage. I mean, we stopped at his damn garage. It was his Last warehouse. It's warehouse, <laughs> so garage, you know. Slash power plant. It's <laughs> garage, power plant, industrial <laughs> complex. Anyway, so it was a, a level. So this obviously has significance. Yeah, yeah. What was the significance? And that was never really made clear. It was kind of like we were just passing through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to fight the rest of the evil mad scientists because yeah. now you have these dinosaurs morphing human cross yeah. Uh, mutations that became an issue yeah but I think we expect, we're expecting too much from a 45 minute game I guess it's like a, mm -hmm. it's like we're expecting too much narrative too much story but where, they where, they injected that narrative yeah if they were just like we just go from it's kind of like Ninja Turtles okay. you don't have there's no narrative in Ninja Turtles I mean except for like Whoa. one or two like Total's three time, like three you know? I'm not talking, yeah. turtles, I'm talking about the first one the what? first one there's like three cutscenes alright three cutscenes, you okay. go from one boss to the next boss to the yeah, next yeah, boss. Yeah. That's complete fan service because they're not connected true, in any true. special I agree, way. I agree with that. So, agree. but this injects those narrative cutscenes with dialogue. So, obviously, they want you to understand what's going on and I don't feel like they did a very they made it very clear of what was happening. Why were we ending up here? What's going to, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, how does this all lead in together? So, I feel like that they could have done better or they should have just omitted it and just made it just level to level, just level to level to level to level, level. Yeah, then yeah, I wouldn't yeah, have cared yeah. I would just enjoyed the play the gameplay for the gameplay oh, um, yeah I think that was my third or if not it was my second but yeah I mean over, otherwise like, I think it's a really cool game to just kill time with yeah. um, especially if you're in arcade it's, right. it's cool uh, oh okay small little gripe 
That's guns. Third, could be a third one. The, 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 this would be my third one. No, the that, guns. That's a bias, man. The guns. A, I don't know. The guns. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it's just my bias. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. if it's a beat 'em up. Uh, knives I get, swords I get, but guns is just kind of like I don't know. I, it wasn't a bad touch, but I just you usually don't see guns in a beat 'em up game unless it's a shooting yeah. scroller game. Like um, was it Gun whoa, Heroes? Whoa, whoa, or? whoa, whoa! I have to. Well, there's Alien vs Predator, right? Right. And then they, they have guns in there. Okay. You know, and it's a side scroller, right? That's Alien vs Predator. Oh, yeah, it's true. You you just expecting like if you see the tight T-shirt. <laughs> I, like, I'm like, just God, expecting fisticuffs. fisticuffs. That's fisticuffs. it. You just expect That's it. Geniuses of fisticuffs to come yeah, in there. Yeah, I'm not expecting like I'm not expecting <laughs> shotguns and yeah, it was a bit out there. I don't know. I I kind of like it. I didn't, I, I didn't mind it too much, but you know, I, hey. It, it just comes out to personal taste, I guess. Then, yeah, so. but I mean, like, you know, and we appreciate the little Capcom Easter eggs, like Blanca's. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> the, Blanca's the Blanca. uh, bastard family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta love that. Oh, that, that shows they have a sense of humor, because obviously yeah. they're putting that in there, because you know if you follow Capcom, and you're going to recognize yeah, that character. Like, oh, my God. You're like going to recognize him. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Could have so. buried him up a little bit, but no. Yeah, Look. they gave him a tail. Tail, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he, Spell out some green sludge. <laughs> so. It reminds me of this uh, of this uh, old game called Street Fighter 2010 for the Nintendo. And I remember they, that. And it had Ken in there. He was I like mean, some futuristic warrior. Yeah, or something. Sh- yeah, it was, it was Ken, but you know, a futuristic Ken with a flat top. Or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> and I just, I don't know. It was a Street Fighter, and it was a big. It was a horrible game. It was terrible. <laughs> Oh man! I, oh my god! One of those games I bought for Nintendo. I just regret it. You actually man. bought it? Oh, yeah, I bought geez. it. I was so excited. I was like, Street Fighter 2010. It must be exciting. Oh dear! And I, I opened them. And I was like, what? It was never the it's same. Kind of. Oh, like, horrible. Uh, now I know why I must have a Super N- NES. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Or that of a Genesis or something. Yeah. Overall, yeah. I give this a solid, probably seven. Seven? Yeah, I I can't seven. give it seven. I I give it a solid five. Okay. Five. Yeah. I mean, I would like to be more excited about it because you know I heard a lot about it, but uh, you know, it just didn't really you know excite me. It didn't excite me the way I was expecting it to. Yeah. I mean, I'll put it this way: in the beat 'em up universe, I'll give it a seven. In the general, just arcade game universe, I'll probably agree with you. It's more of a five. Yeah. But among beat 'em up games, it's definitely up there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I know some people up there are probably fucking pissed hearing that. Like, Sorry, yeah, guys. That's what it is. It's just an opinion. <laughs> Pulling out their hair. Like, Fuck this, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for listening to us. This is uh, Retro Arcade Gaming. Retro. Feel free to subscribe and uh, leave luck to heaven. Thank Be you very much. much.